Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You can grab 10% off by clicking here and subscribing, but let me give you some quick recommendations. Number one, if you're a new coach, you have to grab the complete new coach bundle. It comes with offense, defense, drills, practices, everything. Plus you'll get wristbands, all the equipment that you need right there. If you don't need equipment or wristbands, you can grab the complete new coach pack instead. Another thing that's super popular the plug and play bundle. If you're looking for offense plays and wristbands, that is the one you need. If you don't want wristbands at all, just want the offense, the drills, the practices, get the complete coach package and that's a must. If you just want wristbands, nothing else, you can grab those here. If you're looking for equipment, everything you see in my videos from footballs to flags to the clipboard, all of that can be found under equipment. And then look, if you're looking to customize, you want to mix and match my plays and build your own playbook, that's the play builder right here. I will import any plays that you grab from me so you can mix and match and customize, then print it out for the wristbands, one per page, four per page, etc. Look, jump over to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Everything comes in 5v5, 6v6, or 7v7. I've got your back. Now let's jump in to this week's video. Hey everyone, this is Coach D. Today I've got an awesome new warm-up drill for you. This one will help with speed, agility, help you identify who's got that body awareness, who can stand mentally to do things that are a little bit uncomfortable. So let's talk about the field first. I've got a diamond formation with four cones, just like this. If you need to bring it in a little tighter for the younger kids, that's okay. But this one looks pretty nice, about five yards apart each cone, right? Maybe 10 yards across here. But here's what's going to happen. This one's called the arrow. And here's why. They're going to start on the back cone. They're going to run up. Then they're going to hit the side cone. Then they're going to shuffle all the way to the other cone, go up, and then come back down. So it goes up, side, side, up, down. It creates a nice arrow. I go up, side, shuffle all the way to the side, up, and back. Let me show you. So I'm gonna start at the back, right? I have a line here, a line here. What I wanna see is I wanna see full effort, max effort on this. See who the, the strong players are on, on the field. And I want them to start with cornerback stance. I want them to be loose, nice and comfortable, but this is how I'm going to start out, right? It's kind of like a defense drill to identify who your strong players are, who can be agile and move across the field. So this is what I'm looking for. It's just a nice, comfortable, got a straight back, knees nicely bent, one foot in front of the other, hands is dangling down, ready to move, right? Then, here's what's gonna happen. On the whistle, or ready, go. They're gonna run up to the front. They're gonna circle this cone and then go to the side, right? Immediately, I want them to keep their head up. I don't want them to go like this and be doing all this. No, when they come up here, then I want them to quickly move here. Now I want them to shuffle across. I don't want them to cross their feet. I want them to shuffle across here. Now there's a ball carrier with the ball right up there. So I want to run to that as fast as I can, still staying a little bit low to the ground. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna skirt back. Backpedaling is critical if I have a defender in the back of, of my defense. So, one more time, nice and comfortable. Ready, go. Come on. Uh oh. Quick note here you just saw me slip on the ground. Why did I slip? Because I have no cleats. Now, this is my backyard, so I can't have cleats on it. They said I can't, but I want kids with cleats. The reason why is what you just saw. I run up here, I quickly move to the side. Then I see this cone, now I shuffle across. Now I see, oh, there's something here. Now I go back, keeping low. That is the arrow. Now, level two, let's put a ball carrier on each of the cones. So when they come up here, what I want is for them to, when they come up, I'm gonna pull those flags. Boom. Then here I have a, a ball carrier here, I'm gonna pull flags. 
When I come across here, cold flags. When I come up here, then I'm just gonna go backwards. And then what I would say right here is throw them the ball here. Throw the ball so they can practice with their hands. So level one is just up, side, shuffle shy, side, up, and back. Level two is I have flags here, flags there, flags there. I come up top, pull the flag, move to the side, pull the flag, shuffle to the side, pull the flag. I go up, uh-oh, it goes back, and then I throw the ball and catch it here. That one is a great warm-up drill. It is called the arrow. Have fun with it. Look, you can grab the ball, the flags, and the cones at Flag Football with Coach D.com. If you like what you see, this is Coach D. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Let's go. Need those cleats. Whew. Get big, get big. Pull that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, catch that ball. That's it. That's the arrow. Get some.